be great. Okay. So let's um <clears throat> hopefully can can you see my screen, guys? Yep. Okay, good. Um and then you know what I'm gonna do? I mean, I'm glad that you all can, you know, been able to put a face to a name, but I, I think it I've got I've had some challenges with my, my upload speed so from my internet connection here, so I think it's probably gonna be better if I if I turn my webcam off. Um, just because it, it'll it'll make it so that you'll hear me. There won't be as much delay in my in my in my um, my audio, and then you'll also be able to. My audio will will better match my my screen too. So let me uh, let me. Is it okay? Okay, good. Let me shut that off. Okay. If you look like Carol, I'm gonna have a What's that? If you look like Carol, I'm gonna have a <laughs> I uh yeah I I, t I chatted with her yesterday. She's she's big on on texting, man. She's like she's like Miss Text. Um, but uh, I told her you said hi, and she said she said to say hi back. So um, but anyway, I I'm, I'm as I said, I'm really excited to present to you guys today. Um, at the basically just so I mean I've kind of told you this, Greg. Who we are is is a uh, one of the nation's leading. Uh, reputation management and marketing companies. We, if not the leading right now, because we've, we've, uh, you know, we've, we've done a lot in, in terms of developing new strategies for developing customers' reputation online, so that they can get referral marketing, so they can they can really capitalize on a, a, that concept that we've we've known of for many years, which is referral marketing, which is probably the best type of marketing that's out there. Um, but once you once you're done um, doing this training, or, or once we're done going through this training. You guys will know how to get your customers more customers, and how they can. You can literally, with this, with what I'm going to show you today, they will how they can become leaders in their industry, in their local industry, in terms of, and uh, in, in their niche, in terms of what they do, because they will, um, they will have a much more favorable reputation online, and and will definitely help their business. So, um, that's the plan. That's the strategy. And they'll look like rock stars online when when um, when this type of strategy is implemented for their businesses. So <clears throat> we've been we've actually been featured in uh, like CBS Money Watch and the Miami Herald. I was featured at, um, on those those two publications. Um, is there somebody else that just joined us? Let's see. It's Brad Brad Nelms. Okay, cool. So Brad's on. Hey, how you doing, Brad? <laughs> Okay, good. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll mute you, and, um, or, or you can mute yourself, um, just so that I don't so we don't hear the background noise, and then um, I'll just con I'll just continue here, um, <clears throat> and then let's see. So. Okay, so as I was saying, <clears throat> you know, we, we, we are a reputation management marketing company. We've been featured on in some, some publications out there. Um, so we do, you know, we know what we're talking about. We've, we've helped a lot of companies do this, medium, small size, large companies. We actually prefer dealing with the larger companies because it just seems like a lot of times they, they get what we're doing, they understand it, and it's just not as, it's just not as personal as um, a, 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 a dentist or an attorney um, doing doing this type of reputation management for or reputation marketing, so <clears throat> we know that everyday people are looking online for your services. I'm just going to get started with the presentation, um, or for your client services. And this is just a, a screenshot of what's called Google AdWords. And what that is is Google gives everybody for free access to what what, what they call AdWords and and or keyword their their Google keyword tool. And so what we did is we just typed in a few words to find out how many people are searching for these words on a monthly basis. And you can see just for little words like Dentist West Palm Beach or Appliance Repair Denver or Locksmith London, I mean, there's a lot of people looking for these businesses. And actually, I can even do a real quick example, Greg, if you want. Let's, let's just do this for fun. If you, um, if you go here and you, you look at, for example, let's go to Google and let's look at... Okay, so Google.com. What's the um, one of you, obviously? What's the the main keyword that you think people would type in in order to find one of your one of your businesses? One of the 
business does Weber represent? Yeah. Uh, just say Toyota for grins. Um. So, so, Toyota. Okay. So, a dealership, maybe dealership, or or car dealership. Sure. Okay. And what city? Um, the East Stroud. Okay. Let me see here. <clears throat> um, it's really slow right now. Um, I don't know why. I do know why, actually. Um, let's see. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to that search. I'm going to continue with the presentation just to, and, to, while that's searching. So we know that there's a lot of people searching for, for example, I'll, get, I'll guarantee you that if you pick a bigger city and you, and you type in the word um, auto dealer, West Palm Beach or auto dealer Atlanta, there's going to be two to three, maybe five, even 10,000 people typing in those words on a monthly basis. So we know a lot of people are looking for your, for your clients on a, on a regular basis. The question is, is you know, when they find your client, um, what are they seeing? Are they seeing a good reputation or are they seeing a, a bad one? And so the question I'd ask you is, is would you buy a product or service that has, a bad, that has bad ratings and reviews? And I think you know the answer. I mean, I, every day... I go online and I look for products and services, whether it's Amazon or a, a yoga studio or whatever, and I'm looking to see what other people are saying about them on their Google Plus page. I'm looking in the pay-per-click section and I'm seeing the reviews there. So I'm seeing their reputation front and center in every type or every form of strategy or strategy that they might implement to market themselves online. And so here's the question. Two products are identical. One has 10 good reviews and the other one has three uh, good reviews and one bad. Which one would you buy? I mean, you'd probably go obviously with the one with the 10 good reviews. So really every client is really only one review away from a bad reputation online. So it's, it's critical to manage that process. And that's why this is the most important way that a business now can market, um, important way that it's the most important way that a business can market their business. And to man and it's important to manage that process. So your reputation is everything. The online marketing game has changed, and the beauty is that is that your client's competition doesn't know about it yet. And so this is there's and there's there's four game changes that have happened in about the past five or six months. Um, everything was SEO, SEO, get to the top of Google, you know, blah 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 for many years. Well, now uh, there's been a big shift, and one of those shifts is that if you type in any business name plus their city, and Greg, you and I have talked about this, is it reveals that business's reputation. It, it shows front and center their reputation they have online. So if, if we go to Google, hopefully we can get some better, okay. If we go to Google and we look for like one of your clients, and I'll show, I'll show your staff this, or your, your salespeople, you can see so if I type in, um, what's the name of, a, of, a, of one of your clients again? Uh, put in uh, Bennett Toyota. Is that B-E-N-N-E-T-T -T or is it B-E? Yeah. E yeah, and you see how, here's, here's a great reason why Google has this tool called Google Suggest, okay? You and I had talked about this verbally over the phone, but I didn't show you from my computer. That's why we do these go-to meetings so that I can show instead of tell. But check that out. So Bennett Toyota is 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 initiating these other what are what are called Google suggested words. So these are these are suggested by Google because Google has found that people are looking for these words on a regular basis. And so it wouldn't suggest these words if they were just typed in once or twice. So these words could be typed in hundreds of times a month. And look at, so, I mean, these are words that your client would definitely want to target and make sure that they're showing up for. And so that the other thing that I would, that people are doing, and where's Bennett Toyota? What city? Allentown, Pennsylvania. Okay, so you can see that people are typing in Bennett Toyota, Allentown, PA, and then check this out. And they're even, yes, they are typing in Bennett Toyota Allentown PA reviews. And so that's proof positive because you saw how Google was suggesting that phrase. So what the question is, is what is Bennett 
Toyota looking like in terms of their reputation when people are typing that word that might be typed in hundreds of times a month. This could be the, the make it or break it for this, this client and everybody's doing this on a regular basis. So here's, here's what's happening is people are doing this on their smartphones, on their iPads, on their iPhones, on their Androids. They're doing it much more because most everybody now or a lot of people have smartphones. So they know to do this type of a search and it's what we call a secondary search. It's after they see that initial billboard or they get that mailing from Bennett Toyota that says, or they see the ad, you know, the ad in the advertise in the newspaper. Then they go, okay, well, let me see what, you know, just how good this this Allentown Toyota, Bennett Toyota is. And then they go here and they say, okay, wow, well, Yellow Pages, they got they got a one star review rating. Google Plus, they've got a Zagat score of 20 out of 30, which is good, but I don't know. I, I really like going with businesses that are at least 25 or greater. Let's see if there's another Toyota dealership in the area that, that has that has a better Zagat score, which, by the way, as I told you, Greg, and I, it's good for your for your, your other employees or people there to know, is that you know Zagat was purchased by Google because Google, two or, about two years ago, because Google wanted the most widely recognized name in this space. They got a gazillion dollars. So they can buy pretty much anything they want. And they saw this coming. They saw this review monsoon coming and the, the importance of reviews online. So they wanted to, to purchase the like the number one top of mind name associated with reviews over the previous 20 years. So that's why they bought Zagat. So now not only do restaurants have Zagat scores, but every single business now has a Zagat score. And you can very quickly go in here and you can see those Zagat reviews. Here's If you click on 16 Google reviews right there, it takes you right to their Google Plus page. And this is a free free website, actually, which, you know, of course, Google gives everything away for free. And it's amazing how they still make money, but they make a ton of money. And this is if we designed a website like this for you, it probably cost us three to five thousand dollars. And Google's giving it away for free. And you can see here's Erin Brunch. It's, she's got a good an overall good. Very. And they, by the way, there's three different things that they that they rate is quality, appeal and service um, in, in, in your niche. For um, for auto uh, auto dealers, not every industry is like that. Sometimes it's just it's just a one. It's it's either it's on a scale of either zero to, uh, zero to three, and so for this industry, they've got for whatever reason they've they've determined that people want to see these specific separate uh, ratings here. So that's why they're doing that. So there's all their reviews. You can click on more to find more, but they've got uh, they've got 16 reviews, which is decent, but they've got that Zagat score that's you know, not that great. And so, um, you know, I bet if we clicked on more here, you'd probably see some, some more negative reviews. Um, there's a port affair. There's a port affair. Wow. They were pretty mad. Um, there's a port affair. So that's why they've got that rating is because they've had four or five, you know, zero out of a, a maximum three score. They got zeros for, for all three of these or four of those. So that's why it's averaging down to that 20 out of out of 30. So <clears throat> going back to the to where we were at in the in the presentation. So that's one of the game changers that's that's really happened is is that when you type in any business name and their city and even the word reviews, you'll get their reputation front and center, and you'll see all those directories there, and you can see their you know what how they're doing online. Game changer number two is is that is that customer reviews are a major factor in almost every type of online marketing. So these bad reviews actually show up on not only in with their maps listing on the maps, which we just saw back here, um, right here. So this this is their this is their maps listing. You, you know it because it's got this little pin by it. So if, and if I typed in by the way Toyota Allentown, PA, we'd we'd see him and his competitors all on the same page in the maps result. Ah, maybe not. I don't know what, let's see. Oh, Toyota. Oh, you know what? Um, no, um, car dealership. This is what's going to generate the maps result. There we go. So here's, you know, where is he on this? He's not even showing up on the maps. So that's, that's another thing he needs to, he needs to find, resolve. Because right now, he's not showing up on the maps, and this is where a lot of people are searching for local businesses to determine if they're going to you know, do business with somebody. 
So, but the, my point was is that when somebody does does actually type in these words <clears throat> in order to find a car dealership in Allentown, <clears throat> Pennsylvania, they're going to type those words in, and these guys are the ones that are that are going to be getting the business. And most likely, when somebody actually is is actually is trying to determine which one they're going to go with, they're going to even look further, and they're going to look at these Zagat scores to determine who's got the best Zagat score. And in order to really determine, you know, which ones, in order to further um, determine who they're gonna they're gonna go with. So if I go back here, so that's where I'm saying that those reviews show up in the maps results. They also show up in the pay per click advertising section. Um, they also show up in the website links that show up on the in the Google search results. They show up in every single type of online marketing that you can possibly do. Okay, so that's the second game changer. Number number three. Game changer is, is that SEO, social media, pay-per-click, local marketing, none of it works anymore if you have bad reviews. It only makes sense because if you, you know, if we have bad reviews or you have bad reviews or the client does and they get to the top of Google, all they're doing is advertising those bad reviews. So the first step is, is to create a five-star reputation and then market their products and services with that reputation. <clears throat> and then the other game changer is, is that reviews send you pre-qualified, pre-sold pre -sold customers because buyers trust those reviews online as much as even personal recommendations. And this was found in a study by Miles Anderson from Bright Local is that 72% of buyers trust reviews as much as those personal recommendations. And here's another study that was done very similarly by the Nielsen Rating Company who rates all of our TV shows in Q, Q3 of 2011. And they found that recommendations from people that they know, not surprisingly, were trusted at 92%. And consumer opinions posted online were just below that at 70%, not very far behind. But So really, you have the opportunity to give your, your client referral business just by managing their reputation online. So that's, that's really a big, big point. Editorial contents, uh, uh, content such as a newspaper paper article on the front of the Wall Street Journal or the Palm Beach Post even is not trusted as much as those consumer opinions posted online. Their, their branded website is not trusted as much. Emails, lists, all the other things, other is not they're not trusted as much as those referrals or those those reviews. Um, reputation marketing. Why is it, it vital to a business? Is because and here's one of the things that that I always get asked. You know, how many reviews do I have to have in order to be trusted? And the magic number is really six. You need to have at least six to ten reviews, and because seventy percent of consumers trust a business with that minimum of six to ten reviews. So <clears throat> you want to position yourself as, as the market leader in front of thousands of buyers with a five-star reputation. That's what rec reputation marketing is. And um, I've given you access, Greg, to our, um, the technology that we've, that we've um, gained the rights to, which is this: um, it's, you go to your rep report, and then what we'll do and what, what comes back when you actually put the client's phone number in on that page is you'll get their reputation score. So what we do is we go out there, we scan the internet, all the major directories that people would leave reviews for your clients on, and we pull back all the negative reviews, showing them where they stand currently. So at least it gives them a baseline to understanding of, okay, this is where I stand right now. This is, this is what we need to do, and you know, we're going to take action to, to go after you know, these uh, directories first because it will actually list those negative reviews by directory that they're listed on. It'll also tell the client whether or not they've claimed their listings on these various directories, which gives them an insight into whether or not they're even being found. Um, not just on Google, but also on these other directories, because a lot of times businesses will go directly to these directories to find a business and not even go to Google. So um, that's a, a very important point to make. So you can go to yourreprreport.com, as I said, in order to generate one of those reputation reports for, for any of your clients. Um, and then there's four types of reputation reputations. There's a uh, bad, none, good, and five star. The the one that we're striving for is the five star because you know obviously bad reputations is not a good one. Uh, no reputation is also not good because you know if people don't see any reputation, they're going to assume the worst a lot of times. And a good one's good, but it's just you know we want to get as close to that five star as possible. Um, the strategy is is to develop a five star reputation market it, manage it, and then create a reputation marketing culture in, in that business. And um, 
the way that we <clears throat> we develop a five star reputation is is with things like postcards. Um, this is actually an example of one of the postcards that we've created for our clients. This is kind of the beginning of the funnel, if you will. Uh, this is how our clients get their clients to leave reviews on their review landing page. So this right here is an example of a review landing page that we create for our clients. Um, it's a private custom review landing page. Um, what happens is, is, is somebody will be sent to this review landing page by somebody in that company. Once that company person has been trained, um, we, we will, and I'll talk to you more about this, once they've been trained on you know, how to get somebody to this, to this review landing page, they will send the person there, and they do that when they have a referable moment. And that referable moment can happen at any time. So it's important that you have the opportunity to gather that review, and that first you, you have the awareness that, that that's a, an important time to either ask for a referral, obviously, as you guys are salespeople, I know you probably know how to do that very well, but also ask for a review. Um, be, and, and you can begin that process by having just quickly having them scan this QR code on their smartphone, or go directly to a short link here that we that we also put on this um, on this business card, or um, you can just go right to the review landing page on your smartphone. You can a lot of our clients they'll they actually have their clients um, a lot of our clients actually put the um, the uh, the actual the link to our review landing page right on their home screen. So it's very easy for them just to touch the you know touch the screen really quick, open the review landing page, and gather the review right there from the customer. So, um, so that's, that's how we begin this process of gathering reviews is, to, is with those postcards or we even create business cards for clients. Um, and I apologize for this is, for whatever reason, um, GoToMeeting go does not allow me to use um, our, uh, what do you call it, what is it, uh, Keynote. And it's just, so I gotta, I gotta change slides in a very unorthodox way. But um, anyway, so this is the, uh, the postcard or an example of a postcard that we create for our clients. Um, we, also, um, we, we also create email templates for our clients so they can, they can send out the link to this review landing page to their client base. <clears throat> and then um, we also develop a posting strategy uh, with our clients. Um, we can even make it just as simple as you know, them having a clipboard in their office or with the receptionist that somebody would just fill out by hand. That's not a big deal. We can also have that done. Um, the, uh, so that's how they gather, re that's how we're gathering the reviews. The, the other thing is, is to develop a foster reputation. It's, un it's important for the customers to know that they, they can't post reviews from their customers themselves because review sites have algorithms and filters that delete all reviews that are posted from the same computer IP network. So we have proprietary systems and processes that can post reviews for a company without them being filtered. So once a person leaves a review on this review landing page right here, we then take that review and we, we, because we've done this for so long, we know how to post these reviews for our clients so that they will stay. So in essence, what we're doing is we're taking the onus off of that, that customer, your customer's customer, <clears throat> to have to go out there and create an account on Google Plus or on Yelp or Bing or any of these other directories that are important to them so that we can really facilitate this process of review gathering and make it so that they can get they can actually get more reviews because ultimately when you take that onus off that that customer it's it makes it much more likely that we're going to be able to gather that review and so that's part of what we've developed is a is a, a system for posting these reviews <clears throat> and every time that a, that a client leaves a review they agree to allow us to post that review on their behalf so that's how we that's how we post. We actually post ten reviews on a monthly basis for for our clients. And um, so the, the next thing is the, next, the part of the strategy is, is is we is we help our clients by marketing that their reputation. Once we build it, once we build it up to as close to five stars as possible, we help them market their business with that reputation. Because it's one thing to just you know to to manage the process and to get more reviews and to build that five star reputation. But once it's built, why keep that? hidden. I mean, you want to just let everybody know about your reputation. And that's, that's why we pull, once we build that reputation, we pull those reviews into our client's website. 
We also incorporate it into their social media like Facebook. So we post those reviews to their Facebook page. We give them code, the same code that we use here for their website, we can give them and they can use in their email marketing so that those reviews show up in their email um, emails that they send out, whether it's via constant contact or any email system that, that they're currently using. Um, we also market them with those reviews by actually getting those reviews to show up on the maps like we saw earlier, that Zagat score, getting it as high as possible so that when people do type in uh, car dealer, you know, uh, whatever city, you know, Allentown, Pennsylvania, not only is the, is the client showing up in the A, B, C, D, E, F, G positions there, but they're showing up with a Zagat score that's as close to 30 as possible. Um, the sales and marketing, the other, the other way that a client can really leverage this five-star reputation is by just simply being aware of it and allowing their sales staff to leverage their reputation online once, and this is a perfect application for this industry because this is a lot of these sales are belly to belly. And when the sales person from that particular dealership has somebody in their office, and that person is on the fence and they're they're because let's face it, they're making a big decision in, in terms of buying a you know ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty, eighty thousand dollar car. When they're on the fence, it it only makes sense for that person to then say, Hey, you know what? There's been a lot of people that have been on the fence like like you are right now. You know, why don't we go and just look at what other people have said about the experience they've had once they've purchased a car from us? Let's go to Google. You use Google, right? Okay, let's go to Google.com and let's type in, you know, Bennett you know, auto Allentown, Pennsylvania. And let's look and see what, what other people are saying about us. And let's look at the reviews. And when they can show all those positive reviews, it really, it shows a lot of what we call social proof. And that social proof is the number one psychological trigger that you can engage with in, in a potential buyer in order to get them to take action, as you guys probably know. And so, and that's what we're giving them is the opportunity to leverage that social proof in order to get somebody over the fence and into the buying section of of their of their of their sales process. <clears throat> so once the other now the other strategies that we we manage the final strategy is is we help our clients manage their five star reputation or the second the second to last we do this by daily monitoring the review sites um, and Google alerts don't work for this all the time because Google alerts will only warn you when you when they see your name or your business name or anything that you set up in your Google Alerts. A lot of times when people leave reviews, they do not reference the actual business name or anything that you would be able to set up in Google Alerts. So we go through and we monitor 15 of the top directories, the top directories that are out there, and we let our clients know within 24 hours of any negative reviews coming in. And we do that so that they can res not only respond to those reviews, but also so that they can potentially re-engage that client in order to make the wrong right, learn from that mistake as a business owner, make their business better, and then at the same time potentially get that, that client to remove the review once they've, they've taken corrective action. And we found that 80% of the time people will do that. They'll, they'll remove that negative review when that action is taken. <clears throat> so, and then we also send our clients daily review alerts. Um, Bi-weekly reporting, we send them, um, we send them a um, bi-weekly reporting of all reviews that have come in through the review landing page that we then, have this, that we then submit to the, to the various review sites um, so that they know exactly what's going on and they have a constant pulse on what their reputation is doing on a, on a, um, on a daily basis. Um, we post those reviews, as I told you, and then we manage by marketing only the five-star reviews um, with, you know, in their website or on their website through their email, with that code, and on their, their social media, and every, everywhere else that we, that, we, um, that, that we post those reviews. And the final, um, the final strategy is, is create a reputation marketing culture. So you expect your staff to give first class service. So um, that's, you know, so the, the, you know, the, every company's got that kind of a, an ideal. They wanna provide first class service. So in order to help them do that, what we've done is we've, we've created what's called a reputation marketing, a reputation training center. And in that training center, what we do is we, we've put, um, it's private and it's, it's, it's a custom training center that we give to each client. It's a page that's got five videos on it. Um, before they watch the videos, they put their name and email in 
and they they click on you know begin um, watching the videos. They click on begin the you know the training, and then they watch the videos. Once they watch the videos, they take a, a quick ten question test, and then those results go back to the business owner so that they know that their entire staff is on board with this concept of building their reputation online. And uh, it only takes about an hour for the person to do that, but but um, once that's done, they have an, they'll have an army of people that will help them gather reviews because they understand the importance of it at that point. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Yeah, great. Okay, so, okay, You're re I'm done right now. So your reputation is everything. Reputation marketing is the most important marketing. Every company needs a strategy and, um, and those, that's the way that somebody would actually set up their reputation management and marketing if they wanted to really you know, hit it out of the ballpark and, and start getting a lot more customers and become the authority in their marketplace. So, um, is that what questions do you have? You know, I, I think it's just um, us beating around our clients, giving them the reader's dive point that, and you send the uh, copy of this meeting. You can probably watch it a couple of times and hold it speak of intelligence enough their interest and you say you white white wrap it. Yeah, we would white we would white label it, yeah. I mean absolutely. We can we can make yeah. So that um it's a, a, a sort of our time. Yeah. No, I I'm I'm excited it's yeah. Sometimes he donate, but um, the people that post their messages they they get a bit more got outlying areas. I'm working on sometimes. Yeah, well, I, I you're kind of breaking up there. Let me um here. Let me you know what? Let me call. Let me call uh, you. Let me. Can yeah, I, I, I took it off speaker. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. So, yeah, I mean, that, okay, go ahead. What I was saying is once we watch the presentation a couple of times, I'm sure we can speak to our guys a little more intelligently and then get an interest level and then bring you in. Yes, absolutely. That's, I'm, I'm more than, more than happy to do that. And Greg, I mean, that's exactly, that it really and I can give you the PowerPoint presentation that your team can use out there and, and I can, you know, they can, like I said, I, I've recorded this so I can flip that, that recording of this right over to your team. Um, I can also show you, I, I think it's, it'd be really good for me to show you an example of one of our review landing pages here real quick. Um, so this is, this is the one that we use for our company. This is what our review landing page looks like. It's, it's um, here, once it, sh it pulls up here, let me see. <clears throat> like I said, my, my connection is, is just getting bogged down because I'm doing so many things at once. But So this is, this is an example of it. You can see that the reviews are being pulled in on the right-hand side here, the positive reviews. And then all somebody does is put their name, their email in, the review, the location that they're reviewing. So if, if one of your clients has multiple locations, we just use the same review landing page for all locations. So it's kind of nice. Um, they agree to these terms of service, Ex click on accept and, and post review, and then um, they actually are sent to another page that says, thank you for leaving the review. If you'd like to review us on another site, then you can, and then they could actually re leave a review as themselves, as their own, with their own Google Plus profile or their own Yelp profile on, this, on, another, on another page. So we give them that option too, because any review that we get on this page, we're going to post on behalf of our client. Okay, so, so we're actually, you know, creating a new account for this person that's leaving a review on this page when they leave a, when they leave a review on this page, okay? And then... Um, can I ask a question real quick? Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're getting some major feedback. Uh, that being said... Um, okay, can you hear me? We're supposed to tell our clients or, our, you know, our clients' clients to walk over to the computer and say, hey, could you do a review on this particular site for us? 
which then shoots it out to multiple review sites. Is that what I'm on? No, no. This, this, is, this is the private and custom review landing page that we create for your customer so that they can gather reviews. Okay, this, the, the, it's private because it's only for our and their eyes. Any review that comes in on this review landing page that we create for them is for their eyes and our eyes only. Does, does that make sense? Once so, once we get the uh, review, we this then is post it. Tool for reviews that have already been posted. Say that again. This is a management tool for reviews that have already been posted. No, this is a this is a management tool for, to gather new reviews that are that are left on this page by a real customer, and we then take those reviews and we post them to the various directories once they've been posted to this review landing page. Okay, so we take our real customers and tell them. Are real customers using this tool? Yeah, you're 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 gonna you're gonna tell your dealerships if if they if they start if they buy if they buy this idea of reputation management, then we're gonna set up a review landing page for them just like this. It's gonna be Bennett Toyota, whatever you know their their logo, and they're and they're gonna send their happy satisfied customers to this page by either a postcard or, or you know or with an iPad at the front Obviously, of their yes this is a page that we send our end user to and they review it and say hey we hope you liked your service here with Penn and Toyota please go to this website and give us a quick review. Yes. Okay. Yep. And then we take this what's that? I, I was gonna say and how many different websites does after they pull this out does the Okay, we we uh, we only submit the review to one site because we don't want there to be duplicate listings. We don't want there to be. I'm sorry, we don't want there to be duplicate content out there. So we only take that one real review and post it to one of the directories out there. Primarily, initially, we're going to be focusing on Google Plus. We we actually post two reviews, um, two reviews on a monthly basis to Google, and the other eight out of the ten we post to the other directories on a monthly basis. Okay. The reason why is, is in this, I kind of touched on this in the presentation, is that a lot of times, well, we know for a fact that only about 15, per 20, 15 maybe 20% of people actually have a Google account and a Google Plus, and a Google Plus account which would allow them to leave a review on Google Plus. So therefore when yeah, when when we when we submit the review on behalf of that of that customer, then we set up the account for them assuming that they do not have one. Okay. Now would that customer be given access to that account? Um they can, yes, they, they can be and but and here I'm going to show, show you an example. Yeah, they can, or but most of the time we just we just we create the the review, and that that account is is never used again, and that's it. It's just it's it's a review that's been submitted. Okay. You so know. Then there's a Gmail account associated with this person. Though. Yes, and and that's what that's why they're agreeing to the, these terms of service that I am authorizing you to post my testimonial anywhere online and verify that I've done business with this company. And you can see that, so that there's, you know, I acknowledge that they're true and accurate. Okay. So, and then they click accept terms and post review. And then what comes up and see, this is, this is where we get an off, we get an opportunity to potentially get another, another review from the client. And we also give them this thank you page. Hi, thank you so much for leaving us a great review. Our company. So this could be the. The dealer principle right here. Yes. Okay. Yep. And and so what happens is, to your point, is that once somebody leaves a review on our review review landing page on the previous screen, we we will then take that review and we'll post it totally separately from anything else that they might do here. Because so we'll take and we'll take and submit that review to one of the directories. But what we then ask for is we say, look. We know you've left a review for us. What a lot of our customers have done is they've also reviewed us 
as themselves on their own Yelp account, on their own Google Plus account, at these various directories to my left here or to my right. And they'll click on this and they'll actually go to Yelp or to Google and they'll leave a review on those sites as themselves with their own their own personal account. Does that make sense? Yeah, could you um, could you show me a live example of a review that's been left on a particular client that, that's used in this particular service? Oh yeah. I'll show you a great example. This guy, when just to give you a little background, this dentist, let me just go to Google. I'll show you uh, many. How many you want? Let's see. Just one. I, I kind of want to know what it looks like when, you know, I don't want there to be a whole bunch of, you know, these emails aren't real emails. I mean, these people aren't real emails. It's all been done by no so I can just see what it looks like. Okay, so Dentist Boca Raton, Stephen London. Um, we when we got a hold of Stephen Lunner, he got a hold of us. He had three reviews. He had three reviews, and two of them were were bad. So when and by the way, you have to have ten reviews in order to get a Zagat score. Okay, so it, when you get a Zagat score, you want it to be north of twenty one for sure. And we hit him. We hit it right on the nose. We got very fortunate. Well, I mean, we what we did is is we basically we submitted the next eight reviews that we got straight from him, pretty much right to Google in order to really, you know, to really triage what was going on. We didn't submit to any other review directories because we saw that this was such a huge problem for him. So what happened is, and I'll show you, I'm going to go into his Google Plus page, because he was trending. Once he got to 10 reviews, if, if, I mean, if he trended or continued on that same trend, he probably would have ended up, once he got to 10 reviews and got his Zagat score, he probably would have ended up with a Zagat score of less than eight. It would have been, it would have crushed his business. Um, and so what, what's going on? You can see here. So here's the, here's the actual reviews. Um, submitted a month ago. Submitted a month ago. You see these are all excellent. This is somebody that actually, that you can see, I mean, these are all a month ago. Now, what, what I want you to notice is that those are all excellent. Even though he's got a 21 out of 30, what we know is, is that people, generally speaking, only about 10% of people actually click on this button down here that says more. So when somebody goes to this page, they go to his actual Google Plus page, all they see is excellent results. They don't see anything else. And so, and what happens is they click on more and you'll see where he was when we found him. Here's, here's on the second page, the port of four, or uh, port of fair, another port of fair, another port of fair. So you can see there's those three reviews that I was talking about out of the four that he had when we first got a hold of him that were port of fair. I mean, he was just hurting. And so we turned that around, we posted the next eight, as um, or whatever seven or eight, as you know, as positive reviews, which they were. That's the, they were they were real, authentic reviews, and now he's got a Zagat score of twenty-one out of thirty, which is respectable, and and all the reviews on the first page are all excellent. Sure. Okay. So now look, look at this with me, just because you know, maybe you have some time. But see how um, the 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 woman that was just there on the screen. Let's scroll down. Let's see, got a couple reviews, no picture associated, no. Associated, you know, which are associated. So, to me, you know, maybe this is different for other people, but I, I would see, okay, you know, these aren't necessarily associated with you know, real accounts. You know, I mean, the last thing I want to do, because I, I don't want our reviews to pop up and be like, okay, well, this was an account created mean, specifically for the purpose of a positive review, and then it put for us to hurt. Our yeah. Not necessarily our, our, our star rating or our Yelp rating, but I mean, like how our standing. With so you're saying you're saying be, because the pictures aren't here, you're saying that that that's gonna. Well, uh, not necessarily the pictures, but the fact that you know, like it was an account solely created for the single purpose of this one review, and that's the only review. Yeah. So you know, if I click on Debbie's name, you know, it just says it's, it's used up with George. George's name, you know, but if I go to the people with actual pictures, you know, that's, that's obviously you know, a real Google Plus account. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and, and, and I hear what you're saying. I mean, what we what we're doing, and, and Google Plus is not the only is not you know is not the only directory that we submit reviews for. It's one of the directories. Sure. Um, what we they're the only one that they're the only ones that actually have uh, pictures associated with their accounts. And again, we only submit two reviews on a monthly basis to Google. We only did this for him in this short order, in this short of time, because he was 
he had had so many bad reviews. What we what we do now and what we're doing more of is we're actually associating these accounts with a, with the person. We're giving the person the account in order for them to use oh, yeah, it. That's what I wanted to know. That's exactly what I wanted. To know. Yeah, and and we're getting them. Yeah, we're getting them to you. We're giving. We're saying, look, here's your account. You know, go in there, use it. Here's how you use it. Here's your username and password. Um, if you want to use Gmail, you can. I mean, this is so. You know, we're setting these these accounts up, and and you know, a lot of times we're getting two reviews, um, you know, from you know from the review landing page. But the, I hear what you're saying. Um, the, this is you know, Google's twenty percent of what we put our focus on. Um, the other eighty percent, we. Well, I mean, Google, yeah, or, or any of those. Because I'm, I'm sure you know, like you know, you can, you know, you can, for example, just like trigger warnings on your page. Google and thinking your web page is relevant to a certain search, but you know, like filling it up with uses and dumping. Yep. You know, but once Google goes through and says, hey, this web page is filled with uses and dumping, they kind of like. Yeah. They, yeah. You've got a directory listing. Yeah. <laughs> so, that, that, so I know that they do that across different platforms. Google must be very big on Google and Google is very big on Google. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that they go to because it's actually a in the cloud uh, document. So when we make a change, they they see the change immediately on their end on their link, um, on their on their um, document that they're seeing on their end because it's all cloud based. So yeah. data review, you, Google Docs, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a Google Doc. So data review, you can see the, the review the, the date uh, the date the review was left, the reviewer name, the text. This column tells you whether or not the review was submitted. And then this column tells you whether or what site the review was submitted on and actually the link to that site so they can go there and actually see it. Um, and you can see if the status of it, if it's live or if it's not live. So obviously if you've got if you've got a link to their to you know to the um, the review, it's obviously live. So really in one sitting here you can see three things. Um, the date the review came in on our review landing page, whether or not it was submitted, and then the status of it. And that's really what we get questions a lot about is so that's why we created this. You know, we wanted to make sure that, you know, one place people could go we could we created one place where people could go to to get all their their questions answered. Um, so that's nice and and it it, it kind of gives them a, a one-stop shop for that. But then you know, there, we also coach and train our clients on how to, you know, to do things like create a, uh, a review uh, a playlist, um, which uh, is very important for, for our clients to do because ultimately, if they have a YouTube channel, which most likely they do, they need to put reviews on there. It's important for them to do that because, you know, let me show you, and this is an example. Go ahead. Reviews on YouTube. Yes, exactly. So home prop, okay, home property management. Here we go. So you'll see this is a this is an example of one of our clients, and you know what what Todd has done here <clears throat> is he's created a nice YouTube background here. You can see it's you know professional looking, and what he's done is he's also created a featured playlist here. What people are saying about home property management. I mean, how great is that? It's awesome. What people are saying about home property management, listen to our property owners and tenants talk about what it's like to rent a Palm Beach County home through home. I mean, it's all social proof. It's all his, his social proof, his, his so review videos. Testimonials posted by uh, his clientele. Yes. Uh, is it done under the clientele's YouTube account or under... Uh, it's done under his. So yeah, these these are review videos of his clientele, and they're they're done. They're actually he shot the video and then uploaded them to his YouTube channel. Okay, so you know, as the customer is giving the keys to the car, hey, do you mind telling us what you thought of your experience? And then they film it and then they upload. It. Yes, and all they're doing is just using a you know a smartphone, an iPad. It, it's it they yeah. yeah really really simple. I think they're even more trusted when they when they have that kind of granularity type feel, like real authentic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like stage. Yep. Yeah. And so there's and we we that's part of what we coach and train on. So so for the so for the you know the 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 cost the monthly cost that we're fee that we're charging. I mean, we give them huge value. I mean, when we talk when I get a hold of a marketing director and they see what we do. They're going to be blown away because we don't just do review or reputation management. We also market their business with those reviews, and and it's important for you guys to see that too, because here's what it looks like on a client's website when we pull those reviews in. If you go to drbilldentistry.com, you'll see an example of one of our client's sites and how we pull those five star reviews in to their site in order to market their business with those reviews and it's not just with textual reviews but it's also with those video reviews and so that's why in, you can see here here's here's that JavaScript that automatically streams those reviews right in so that we're marketing his business with those five-star textual reviews and by the way there's reference to these third-party directory sites so it gives them credence it gives them authority it gives them validity um, and you'll net you never see that this is so that's very important for you to note also. So this is a review that's actually being pulled in from insider pages, you know, from yp.com, from Google Plus, from YouTube. You know, these are third party testimonials and we're just showing them for to you here. We're not we're not just leave, you know, just having people leave reviews on our website. These are actually what reviews on third party sites. 
So that's a really big part of our service, and it, it all that streaming is done automatically. I mean, we, you know, we once once we post those reviews, we our our team pulls those reviews off the directories. We put it in on our end on our code, and then it automatically pulls those reviews over to the client site once they put the code in on their site. Does that make sense? It's no completely. Okay, so that's 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 the that's really the the difference in addition to the other strategy, the video marketing strategy that I just showed you, that we have that nobody else is doing. I'm telling you, we are. This is the, and, and, and I'll even show you another thing. So what we do is we actually get our clients to create this review this review um, playlist, and then we actually put a link in as a response to our client's negative reviews, and we put a link to this review playlist. So it just totally neutralizes that, that negative review because, I mean, what's somebody going to say when they see this, you know, this, playlist of a hundred you know 30 10 20 30 video reviews of people that have said great things about this business you know so so that's it I mean that's, that's what we do and, and I'm, there's nobody that are implementing these strategies I just I know that because I, I because I this is what we you know eat and breathe so um, you know that's that's what we do and and um, and uh, I'm sticking to it <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, if, if you have any other questions, I mean, I would, the other thing that would be good for you to see is that, is, is our review training center. It's just basically a page very similar to this with four videos on it. And, and that's the link that, that your clients would send out to their staff in order to train them on this process. So it's a very easy process. So we even take, you know, the onus of them training their staff on this process, you know, off their, off their shoulders, if you will. Well, it is. I mean, and like I said, I mean, I, you, Greg, you pulled up a few of your clients that you thought were going to have stellar reputations, and you, you, you went to the yourreprreport.com uh, landing page to see that to, to generate a reputation report, and you were, you were kind of surprised, I think, by some of the results that you saw. So, you know, there's there's definitely an opportunity to um, to really turn that ship around when a client has that kind of a reputation online and um, and really make it better and and the, the beauty is is that these like I said their their client their customers I mean I'm sorry their competition doesn't know about this this is something that's that's really very cutting edge it's 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 not something that's it's not going to be mainstream for about another year year and a half um, right now they have an opportunity to really get a head start um, ahead of their customers or ahead of their um, their their competition. So, and and check this out. Look at this. Here's a great example. Reputation right in the pay-per-click. Chevy 21 Bethlehem is is paying per click for people to see this ad. If they had a bad reputation, how? I mean, seriously, like, there it is, right there. I mean, why would any business? I mean, so really. And not only that, but I don't know if you've heard of like deal sites, but even deal sites will not allow you to do a deal on a deal site if you have a, a less than a three-star reputation. Some of them are doing are four-star. And so Chevy 21 Bethlehem sure as heck made sure that they had a good reputation before they started promoting it like this because they have the choice of showing these stars or not. And, and I can tell you from personal experience from our client, I just got off the phone with a client of mine that literally told me – and and Stephen, you weren't on the call for this call. I, it blew me away. I didn't. I didn't. I was blown away by this. Okay, let me just show you what what happened here. I mean, I hear my 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 browser's still open to show you this. I would just to prove you. I mean, I was just pulling this up from my client, Property Management Tampa. He's he's a property manager in Tampa, obviously. Obviously, um, we did his Google Plus optimization, so he's showing up in the A position here. His Zagat score is twenty five out of thirty. He's got thirty eight reviews. He's doing great for property managers. That is phenomenal. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Here to give you an example, a one out of 30, 27 reviews. So property managers in 
a whole as a whole, they just get crushed by reviews. I went to a National Property Managers Association meeting in, in, in um, up here in, in DC a little while ago, and Yelp was there. I thought they were going to throw the guy out by his ears because they were all so up in arms about the fact that they are just targets for reviews online because they're they're the bad guys. And so they were just mad as heck. And but but check this out. So my point is is I suggested I. I I gave him some really good consultation or consulting, and, and and I and because I was finding this out from my other clients, and I found out that first of all, this is new, but but Google is putting these these stars in the actual search results, not only for you know obviously in Google Plus, but also even in the website here. They'll even put it in the website. They'll put the the star rating, but what we started seeing is that we'll see it in the pay per click, and so I said, oh well. Wouldn't it be interesting for let's see what what some of our clients get as results when they actually put the, those stars in their ad and they and they actually place an ad even though they haven't been doing it and and what what he found is that he got a three hundred percent increase in the number of phone calls to his this tracking number right here this is a, and he knows that because this is a tracking number so he he's gotten ten new customers in the past month that he didn't get the previous month over and above what he normally gets just because he he put in this this ad and and I think a large part of it is he's the reason why he's getting all the calls is because this is the only thing on this page for me that really stands out. Um, it's just and it you, you can, uh, find the Google ratings for different businesses. The Google ratings? That's a good question. Yeah. Look, check this is what's so cool. It's tied into his Google Plus rating. Look it here he is, Hoffman Realty. We've associated with his HoffmanRealty.com website that we made, and here's his 38 reviews. Zagat score of 25 out of 30. Here it is, 38 Google reviews. Four and at that that 25 out of 30 score translates into a four and a half star rating. So if you open up uh, any of these uh, sites, it'll immediately show you the. Yeah, it, it will. You know, here. So I want I want to answer your question better, because I think what you're asking, Greg, is 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 basically is this the same business as this right here? And it is. And I want to show you that yes, if you t if you go to thirty, if you click on this thirty eight Google reviews, it'll take you right to his Google Plus page. And if I did the same thing over here, and I went to these thirty eight Google reviews, it would take me to the same exact Google Plus page. So what he's doing is he's marketing his business with that reputation. In two ways, both on the maps here, with his Zagat score being 30 out of uh, 25 out of 30, and in the pay-per-click section here, by saying, "Okay, yeah, you know what? I have such a darn good reputation. Why not? Why not put that in my pay-per-click, and, and so that people are drawn to that too? And so that's what he did, and that's what it, that's what increased his his uh, number of clients 300 percent, number of new clients this month. So if you clicked on below rental property solution. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. That'll take me and, to uh, their their Google Plus page. Yeah. Right. And it will show to your to answer actually what they're doing is is they're just that's bizarre. Oh wait wait. This is their Yeah this the, yeah this is their merged Google Plus page. Yep. Um Oh, you know what? This is their this is their Google Plus business page. This is not even their Google Plus page because there's no reviews here. So he's purposefully probably sending people to his Google Plus business page and not their Google Plus their Google Plus page because here I'll show you. This is this, this is the difference. Here, if I click on if I click on Andrews. It'll take me, it's taking a while, I don't know, it's frustrating. So I'm going, okay, so here's his Google Plus page. Do you see the difference? Um, okay, let me show you. Yeah. Here's the difference. I know this is, a, this is, this is, okay, I don't want to confuse you, but okay. You can merge your Google Plus page with your Google Plus business page, okay? A Google Plus business page is very much like a Facebook fan page in that it's social in nature, 
in that you can actually post content to it. And what, what Andrew, Andrew has done is he's done just that. He's merged his social Google Plus business page with his Google Plus page, which is very static. And I know that because you can see he's got these three tabs here. But I know that because when I go to his Google Plus page, it defaults to taking me to his reviews first. And so that's why I know he, he's merged his Google Plus page with his Google Plus business page. But because he, you can also, I know he's merged it because you can also go to his posts here and you can see that he's got that social aspect also. Whereas this guy previously, I'm going to show you this guy here that you asked me to go to. See, we're just going to his, his business plus, his, his Google plus business page. Because you see how he doesn't have any any reviews here? Oh, actually, you know what? Okay, wait, okay. So he has merged it. He's just specifically sending people to his post section of his Google Plus page, which I have never seen somebody do before. But okay, so he has merged his Google Plus page with his Google Plus business page. And so he's got both the social aspect where he can post, and he's also got this, um, this regular get, um, Google Plus page where you know you can leave reviews and you can see reviews. He's got no reviews. He's got no reputation. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay. So, so you guys Did have. You have any, uh, question on the price. Do, what's that? Uh, what's included? Yeah, uh, figures is a thousand dollars a month. Yes. Yes. Yep. And with mm -hmm. you get the registration management, but you also get your writers. And what what different differentiates you from other registration management outfits? Okay, that's a great question. Um, and by the way, to answer your first question, yes, they get everything that you've seen. They get the review landing page. They get the review training center to train their staff. They get the re the reports, the alerts. Um, so that they are notified within 24 hours of anybody leaving a review, not only on the review landing page that we give them, but also on any of the directory sites when those when those reviews go live, um, so that they can respond to those negative reviews and potentially give them, get them review, removed. We also um, give our clients we post 10 reviews for our clients on a monthly basis, and we also give them the code so that they can pull those reviews in and stream them into their website, their social media and go on the offensive and market their business with those reviews. Um, so that's, it's, it's, one, it's a big package. And they also get um, a initial consultation with us and then a ROI meeting every single month. Um, those are an hour each. Um, I just got off the phone with, you know, with Andrew. You know, I met with him for an hour and a half. And he gives me referrals all the time because you know, I've, I've changed his business. I mean, we have changed his business and um, in terms of the number of customers he's getting, and that's our, which is our mission and our vision for our company. Our mission is to, is to provide more customers for our, for our clients. Um, that's one thing that makes us different is that we know very clearly what our mission and our vision is. And, and the other thing is, is, that, is that we provide tools like this, the review summary report. I know of a lot of businesses that do what we do. I'd say 90, 95% of them, there's, they just charge a monthly fee and, and the client knows nothing about what's going on. And so this is huge. We created this out of necessity because we heard it from our customers, you know. And and so we go that extra mile to make sure that we every single customer is happy. <clears throat> and um. And so that makes it. I guess that's the other. Thing. And then the other thing is 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 those those insights that I just gave you, which are really proprietary trade secrets. But I I want you guys to see what we do. Um, you know, building that review landing page. Um, you know, the the concept of putting a link in as to the review landing page as a response to a review is nobody's even thought to do that yet, and we're doing that. Um, we also provide templates to our clients so that they can have a, a very quick and easy way to respond to negative reviews. That's not agitative. That's not going to incite the per the person that they're communicating with, because that you know these these review sites are not a forum to have have it out with a client. Obviously, um, so you know that's another thing that separates us. You know, there's just, I think the other thing is really is just the initial consultations and the ROI meetings where we continue to add value for the client, to the client. That's what makes us different. Mm -hmm. 
Do you offer an agency discount? Uh, it's it's a thousand dollars for the for the white label. For the for yeah. Oh. Per month, <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's if 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 you guys give us a, for advertising agent. Yeah, if you guys if you guys give us a quantity, um, you know, like a certain quantity, then yeah, we then that would we we'd entertain the idea of giving a discount over the thousand dollars a month. But right now, I mean, that's 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 our. <clears throat> I mean, we you know we can we can possibly come down to, you know, if if you guys, I mean. If you guys think that you that this is something that you can really you know run with, I mean, we can entertain the idea of, of coming down off that price a little bit. But I mean, it, that but that's you know for what we do, it's it's a lot, and and it's it takes a lot of time. I mean, just submitting a review takes over an hour <clears throat> um, to to do it right and to create the account and create the account correctly, and so. Um, any other uh, ad agents? Uh, we don't have any other. Ad we have other white label partners, but no ad agencies yet, Greg. And do you have some referrals you can give us? Uh, for clients that we work with. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. If you want to go to my YouTube channel, you can see our, our all of our, and you can call any of those guys. I mean, I can give you phone numbers for Dr. Bill Eikoff or um, any of the clients that, that that I've referenced today. If you go to my YouTube channel, here I'll show you. I've got a playlist on my YouTube channel, <clears throat> and I can forward you the link right now. Um, yeah, because I think that's yeah, that's important. Obviously, I mean, we, you know, I don't want to. I want you guys to know that you're. Oh, where is the? Of dealer.com offers reputation management. So here's the um, here's the testimonial page for for um, and you can see like Dr. Bills is the first one here that, that we um, I'll send you the link um, and this is this is an example actually of the playlist that I was telling you about. So. When you put a link to a playlist, what's what's really neat about these playlists is that when you send somebody the link to this playlist, it actually Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Eichoff, plays just I'm a like this. General dentist and cosmetic dentist in North Palm Beach, Florida. So what would happen is 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 you know you would send this link and it, it just plays all these videos on the right hand side right here consecutively until it plays all of them. I I come from the old school and I, I got to tell you I was skeptical about. Uh, doing anything on the internet on the website. Okay. I just couldn't yeah. visualize yeah. why. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll send that to you. Um, yeah. So, and there's, there's a nice interview here that, that I, where I was interviewed uh, about reputation management, if you want to watch that on my channel and stuff. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, a great strategy to implement and it's, um, definitely is, is something that your, your clients, need to be aware of at least and just you bringing it up and giving them okay. these strategies is going to be good my guys are waving at me but they, they, they got it 100 <laughs> percent. okay all right guys well all right thanks greg yeah. um and i guess is there oh, anything well, anything else that i can do to, other stuff, that'd be great. okay i will and if there's anything else that i can do to, to just you know like i said i mean Use me as like I can make these presentations for you, not a problem. I mean, if if, if yeah. you just set the appointments up, I'll help you, you know, make the presentations. Yeah, we've done that with other vendors. Okay, great. We're good. Okay. Thanks, guys. I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you. Awesome, Greg. And Thanks. Let's, uh, let's let's talk in a week because hopefully I'll have we'll talk to a couple of clients by then. Okay, we'll do. Great. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. The organizer has ended the session, and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye.
What do you think? I think it's pretty good. Huh? You know, there's one thing that I want you to do when you're doing it, and 